What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We are at the crib with it. Hopefully, y'all like... Um, I already dropped like a couple videos, but I don't know if y'all seen it, but hopefully y'all like how it looks. Um, you know, trying to do my thing, but, uh, some days I need to be here. Some days I just need to be at the office. You know what I'm saying? So I got two setups. All right. We about to get into CJ. So cool. Baby mama Nike has a message for him after she moves out the house. He purchased her. Damn. He possibly could be moving out of the house that CJ So Cool purchased for her and moving back to Indiana. Y'all know a lot of things have been happening throughout the month. Nike and Lexi got into it over the Christmas gift. Now Roti is blaming Kamari for harming her daughter. And recently CJ was getting over it. Getting, getting into it over a Christmas gift is preposterous. I just thought that y'all should know. Straight preposterism. I just, I don't understand. Revealed that Kamari is moving back to Indiana. And I'm pretty sure Nike wants to be with her daughter. She posted her Instagram. She said, all bullshit. Size. sometimes you have to tell people look I love you and I'll probably love you forever but I'm no longer interested in the level of life you have to offer me and because of that I have to let you go I'm not even asking you to change I just need you to understand that you can keep doing what you want to do and how you want to do it you just can't do it with me you got hello let people be them I have learned that well I learned it at the end of 2023 but baby 2024 I'll let you do you baby do you and I'm going to do me. Love people from a distance to protect your peace and let whoever think whatever. Y'all leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Real quick, I finally released the most highly requested ebook full of all of my secrets on how I was able to make money on. Fran got the ebook going too. Yeah, hey, I man. We all got to tap in where well, we got to tap in at. I'm dropping mine tomorrow. So that's what we doing. Let me get into tea room. CJ on 32s didn't so CJ wait a minute all right so CJ on 32s did an interview with say cheese where he spoke on the situation with CJ so cool it's your relationship with the uh, with CJ uh so cool um <laughs> Damn, because a lot of people life. and this is this on the street right <laughs> I know you may don't be mad at me right but a lot of people feel like you why are you, you like, laughing like that you crossed him and was like messing with his baby mom. Nah, bro. I would never do no shit like that, bro. Shit, mm -hmm. it really wasn't like no fallout. I mean, a lot of shit started when I think your interview, yeah. where he was, Damn. was he was saying he shit did. about nobody did nothing for him. Yeah. Like everybody had a they point where, mm -hmm. you know, motherfucker's not gonna stay up here forever. Okay. So for him to say nobody ever gave him shit. Like, I was the only nigga that you could call and I sent you money and for So, Ooh. yeah, nah, guys, all that royalty. Did shit. he ever think you did something with Oh, with, damn. Oh, and for real, I know he know not, but it was just for the Yeah, internet. okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Nah. Come on, bro. Like, yeah. Bro, I don't. Nah, he said CJ money. I want your baby mama, bro. Mm. Like, bro, I got my own motion. Yeah, bro. you got a lot. So, CJ so cool responded with. My only downfall was trying to be friends with people I didn't know. Everybody ain't your bro or your friend. Remember that sometimes people just trying to get close enough to snake you. My only downfall was trying to be friends with people I didn't know. Everybody ain't. CJ is forgetting when he was broke. He's forgetting that version of himself. Hold on, because I feel like man going here kind of going crazy. Your bro or your friend remember that sometimes people just trying to get close enough to snake you. Now you guys also know Nike and Kamari are no longer living in Vegas, That's and ridiculous. Nike did issue a statement. She said, "All bullshit aside, sometimes you just have to tell people, look, I love you and I'll probably love you forever, but I'm no longer interested in the level of life you have to offer me." Nike is sick of the drama. Okay? She is a Leo and she has checked out, <laughs> especially when it comes to her daughter. It's a lot going home, a lot going on with her child. So, and him and her child is just too much. I would do the same thing. And because of that, I have to let you go. I'm not even asking you to change. I just need you to understand that you can keep doing whatever. He ain't gonna have nobody after a while. You want to do and how you want to do it. You just can't do it with me. You got to love people from a distance to protect your peace and let whoever think whatever. So now it appears that Nike and Kamari have both left Vegas and Nike is done and fed up 
with all of the drama. But you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Now, I do want to move on to this next topic with Carmen and Corey. Now, we all know it appears that Carmen and Corey are back together, but neither one of them have officially stated anything. Well, Corey has just confirmed that they are working on their marriage, which we all knew. It's like my family just we coming for anything. That. Like, I've been like, I haven't been talking about it because I've been keeping it off social media. Now, I know a lot of y'all been kind of seeing, yeah. <laughs> you know, me with my family and stuff, but I haven't really been just giving y'all a lot of detail because it's like, I'm learning to keep certain shit private. It's like, all right, it, the real don't gotta know that I'm working on my family right now. The real don't gotta see detail by detail of us working on what we working on because it's like, this shit is personal. So Jazz recently announced Guarantee Carmen told him that announced that she was going in for surgery. She stated that she's having a hysterectomy. Now Loaded was on Instagram live while Jazz was getting out of surgery. Seems like everything went well. So when Jazz announced she was getting a hysterectomy, well, when people was telling me she was getting a hysterectomy, I was like, Hey yo, that's crazy. She's young but when she said what she was going through her period oh no ma'am no ma'am get it out take it out get rid of it what do we need this for hit my nigga with the IV, man. we don't <laughs> we don't need it at all actually hey is she like high like when you get your uh wisdom tooth removed she's not even talking high all oh. she doing is <laughs> not nothing oh she is zooted <laughs> Bro, so nobody ain't, so ain't nobody gonna say nothing but what Ross just said. Okay. What you say? Hey, say V, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I need a haircut, bro. I cheated on you. Went to a different barber. Nigga, fuck me up. Always. Look at this. I'm cheating on your nigga. Right, nigga. She's actually a stud. So she's a girl. It's not a nigga. Wait, what the fuck are you doing? We can leave. She's actually a girl. Nah, bro. Don't go. In the hospital. All right. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm glad uh she's getting the surgery to relieve her of whatever uh she had going on. So <laughs> life without a period is gonna be top tier. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.